It's Borderlands 2. It's Maya. But that's not Maya's costume. That's something a little bit different, a little bit slinkier, a little bit skimpier. In fact, this is one of the first texture mods available for Borderlands 2. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install it and how to use it. My name is The Adipose, and this professional looking texture mod was made by a guy called Double Trouble, who posted it up on the Gearbox Borderlands 2 forums. Now it's a local only texture mod, and what that means is, is that if you use this mod, um, and you're playing as Maya, other people will still see you wearing the normal costume. But if you're playing with other people and you have it running, then you will see them wearing the modified costume that you have installed. Now I felt that this mod gave a slight performance hit, because you have to have the texture mod program working in the background but apart from that um, and it was very slight um, it works absolutely fine it's completely customizable with the original color changes as you can see here it simply affects the shape of the costume and I genuinely hope that this is the first of many texture mods for lots of different characters and maybe guns and other textures in the game um, to get some wonderful variety into this great game if you've got any cool ideas for what could be done with texture mods on this game, um, do drop them in the comments section and perhaps I will put them in a future video for others to see. This mod is even compatible with the Borderlands 1 skin um, that you get for um, having a Borderlands 1 save on your computer and it's even customizable with all the different heads um, that Maya has so you can switch to any of the, the various options that there is and the, the mod is completely compatible. So let's find out how you use it. So how do we actually get this texture mod installed um, and working? Well I'm going to be talking you through it and um, we've got a few things to download and unzip and then we've got um, a bit of file fiddling um, to do but not very much. First place you need to come to is tombraiderhub.com and I've, got, I've given you the exact link in the description below but if you find this page here you'll find a link to the program which is called TexMod. This is actually um, a program not a mod and this program needs to run before you actually run Borderlands in order to do the um, modifications um, to, to the graphics. So click on it, left click and then save it either to your desktop or your downloads folder wherever you find easiest. Secondly, you need to come to uh, the the threads that Double Trouble has made to get his mod. Um, he's put it up on a website called gamevixenzone.ryanarney.com and he's also put it up on uh, nudecreator.org. Now the nudecreator.org one um, you don't need to sign up for um, and again I've put the link in the description. Um, you can find his thread here, he describes it here and the link to the file is here, skimpymayor.ra. Left click on that and again save it either to your desktop or your downloads folder wherever you prefer. So then we need to come and find our downloads folder or our desktops. Uh, if you're not sure how to do that, you can just go start um, computer and downloads on the left if you're on Windows 7. Um, and then here you can see the two files we download, TextMod and Skimpy Mayor. We need to um, unzip both of them into their various folders. So I'm going to unzip TextMod into a fo folder called TextMod and I'm going to right click on Skimpy Mayor and extract that, extract that to uh, Skimpy Mayor. So now if I go down um, I've now got two folders uh, here um, with, 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 with the files that I need. Now before I can, this is actually going to work we need to rename some files because the chances are if you're playing Borderlands on PC it's a Steam game and the problem is is that when you run text mod um, it then has to run Borderlands so if I if I just take, go into um, the text mod folder for a second if I show you if, if, if you run text mod it then says choose an application to run and if we choose Borderlands here um, it actually runs Steam first so text mod runs Steam and then Steam runs Borderlands and by the time it gets there um, text mod isn't actually working anymore so we actually need to go Steam text mod Borderlands and the way you're going to do this is you need to find your Borderlands um, install folder on your PC. Now my Steam drive or Steam folder is in C Steam. Yours may well be in C Program Files Steam or C Program Files um, 
uh, x86 Steam. It depends where you've installed it. But you go into Steam, you find the folder Steam Apps, you find the folder Common, and here you've got all the games that you have installed. Um, and so here's my Borderlands 2 one. And then you need to go into a folder called Binaries to actually find the Xs. And then Win32, sorry, so um, to actually get all the way to the Xe file. So I'll just do that one more time to take you there. Find your Steam folder, Steam, Steam Apps, Common. Borderlands 2, Binaries, Win32, and here are the, the files that we actually need. You can see Borderlands2.exe and Launcher.exe. Your Borderlands 2 will probably have this logo that you can see, the yellow Borderlands logo here. Um, mine isn't because I've actually done this process um, a couple of times now. Now the first thing we need to do is rename the Borderlands 2 to something else. Um, I'm going to rename mine to Actual Borderlands 2 um, dot exe um, because it is actually borderlands 2 dot exe even though um, it's going to be called something else so I'm going to rename it to that and you can see actually now the old logo has come back then I'm going to go and get the text mod um, file you don't need the read readme but you just need the the, the text mod dot exe and I'm going to copy or cut whichever you'd prefer that into this folder and then I'm going to rename it and this has to now become borderlands2.exe so when steam runs borderlands2 it actually runs textmod not borderlands2 now one thing I will say before we do this is that you may well get a virus warning when you run textmod the reason for that is that is that textmod will edit the memory of your computer while the game is running it'll edit the memory and replace the relevant textures some virus uh, checkers detect that as a form of Trojan um, now I did some re did a lot of research on the web uh, read around quite a few forums and I found that quite a few people saying um, it's clearly not a Trojan but this is exactly why it appears as a virus warning and this is the file that it's picking up on um, and it is 100% safe um, so if you're feeling unsettled about that at all and you don't want to run it then fine just, just don't do it um, but read around on the web and I'm sure you'll come to the same conclusion I did um, that it, this is one of those occasions where the virus checker is actually being a little bit too insecure and this is not a dangerous file so we've now got textmod.exe is now hidden in our borderlands2.exe and the the original borderlands2.exe is now in this actual borderlands2.exe and then we go to the game and we run it from Steam play game the normal um, launcher will pop up but when we press play this time instead of the game running we're going to get textmod here it is and we've got a few things we need to choose here by in target application we now need to find the this the the real actual borderlands.exe so if you're lucky it'll take you straight there but if it doesn't you'll need to again find your steam folder and then um, steam apps and then common and then borderlands borderlands 2 and then binaries and then win32 and then till you find actual borderlands2.exe we also now need to install double troubles um, the texture the one that we actually want to use so we're going to click on the folder here and we're going to go and find it um, and mine is in my downloads folder um, so I can go straight to it through here and then find the skimpy mayor folder if yours is on your desktop you might be able to get it quicker and it's this skimpy mayor.tpf so we've got it set up now uh, we've got the actual borderlands 2 is here we've got skimpy mayor is here and when we click run the game is going to run with the new texture mod and you've just got yourself your brand new costume if it's worked correctly, you should see Maya wearing her lovely new costume on the title screen of the game. If you found this tutorial useful, please give it a like and maybe share it with your friends if you want to support the creation of new videos. And please subscribe if you want to make sure you don't miss any further. Do check out the rest of the channel to see what other tutorials I have on offer, and I'll see you soon.